Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuard21. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. In the last episode, we went back to the tree and forest again. Head back to the stone slab and met Origin. Kicked his ass. Klaus now has a contract with him. Fantastic. And we now have the Eternal Sword or the Blade of Eternity or whatever the fuck you want to call it. We can now manipulate time and space. Fantastic. Let's heal everybody. And with that acquired, we need to find Dallas. The only problem is we don't know where he's at, but we do have a uh, destination in mind, though, and that is to head to Early, the town of Twilight, which essentially is the continent that's in perpetual darkness to the south. Or maybe Archipelago, or Peninsula, or Island, whatever the fucking landmass is called. Now, I had a plan before we do that which was to grind up a bunch of herbs from the button matching minigame in order to power up Suzu so that she could finally complete her fucking uh, ninja test because I failed that last time as well, but hey, we got farther. We made it to the end, which is probably nothing. Although at this point, is it really worth it because all we're going to get is a weapon that will be outclassed and a title. If we actually beat that shit. Uh... But, um, that plan went to re went awry because, one, farming up uh, herbs is boring and monotonous as fuck. Since I can't speed it up, I have to go at normal speed. And since, the re since your results are random, you're either gonna get a shit ton of Miracle Gels like me, or a shit ton of herbs, which I don't have. I mean, I got three Verbenias and two Lavenders. I was kind of hoping for the HP ones, to be perfectly frank. But hey, I now have 14 Miracle Gels instead. So that's a plus. Okay, would actually bumping up her strength actually be worthwhile? Not really. Honestly, the only thing that's going to help Susie beat that stupid trial is the HP ones, which we don't have. So, all in the crest then. Which means that uh, I need to head back into Albanista to restock on room bottles. Because today, we head off to face off against Odin instead. Let's see how well we do against him. Why is there a leaf option in here? Tool shop. Uh, what do you sell again? Oh yeah, this. Thanks, buddy. Goodbye. Alright, back to... It's on the other half of the city. I keep forgetting this. Hi, ay ay You think I remember where this place is? So why the fuck are room bottles here at, a at the pharmaceutical shops? I think they'd be somewhere else. Okay, room bottles. Provenia. Lemon gel. Yeah, I think it's time to start upgrading my gels, too. Do, 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 do. All right, that should be enough pineapple and lemon gels for a good while. We still got a good stock of orange and apples and melanges. All right, time for us to get out of here and head back to the Tower of Flame to face off against Odin for real this time. And not me just stumbling around like a dumbass. Well, here's hoping this axe is gonna work as well as I think it will. It probably won't, knowing my luck. I only have to uh, get rid of uh, 10, 100,000 HP. That should be doable with Crest Solo. 
That should easily be doable, right? At this point in the game? Might as well do this. Okay. We take the teleporter. Now then, I need to fix up uh, Chris's equipment here. For this fight. Let me scroll up to the Odin strategies, because I can either do this the normal way, or I could cheese it. The cheese it method involves me basically being very resistant, if not imme outright immune to light damage. And I need to scroll down a little bit, since I'm not the right section here. Odin, here we are. Okay, so... Let's see, light attacks. Mithril mesh and two reflect rings. Okay. Do I have two reflect rings is the question. I got four, so yeah, we got enough. Do I have the Mithril Mesh armor, though? We do. And apparently these stacking onto each other should make me practically take no damage from Odin. Hopefully. But, uh, fortunately, we got the uh, rare... Let's see. Water, Lightning, and Earth. We're still going to take massive damage from Fire. But, actually, if these stack onto each other additively, then we got a 40% chance of just being immune to fire damage. Or they're multiplicatively, which is slightly better. Alright, well, let's uh, get this another try. I don't know why we're getting the fucking Donkey Kong music going. So that's the once more, so yeah, 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 yeah. This is me using the cheese strat first. Okay, that was uh, decent damage, but uh. Flare bottles, engage! Okay, that works. Okay, just spam Distortion Blade, then. That does the most damage, and just for good measure... Okay, now he's gonna cast Indignation. This is gonna hurt. Nope, it didn't! Wow! Being invincible is busted. Distortion Blade does a lot of damage. Well, I just made this trivial. I'm okay with this, actually. After the bullshit I, that I went through trying to do that stupid ninja shit, I will take Cheesing Odin. Ow. Okay, so he does still hurt. He does still hurt. The lemon gel was over. But hey, all these extra pineapple gels are going to help a lot. Fuck you, Odin. I will kick your ass and take that spear. Give me your spear. Fuck you, no casting. Now, if I wasn't immune to his bullshit, we could actually just bait out his uh, jumping attacks and use... Uh, Lightning Blade in order to uh, basically stunlock, hit, stunlock him. Hit him in the air. And basically repeat that over and over again as a strategy. But, uh... Since this guy has so much fucking health, I'm not gonna try a normal strategy. Two 
Fuck. Yeah, I think, uh... The only downside of this strategy is, uh, no manual. But there goes Odin! Get out of my face! You're not so strong when I'm not <laughs> taking damage, are you? Also helps to have a non-elemental sword and a non-elemental damaging art. Mm. Very well, I permit the I permit thee to employ the arms of a god. Alright. We get Gungir back. Wield the spear as thou see fit. Farewell. We shall not meet again until thou art revealed of thy cage of flesh. Hey! I still got one other chest, you fucking dickbag. Oh, wow. I went through all that. And I pick up a spear, but I don't open up with the other chest. Okay, what was in the other chest, then? Oh, just a fucking collectible, then. I'm not 100 percenting this game, so I'm not even going to bother worrying about it. But hey, we got Gungnir back. It's true form with the highest thrust in the game. The true form of the legendary spear forged for the final battle of the gods. A lot of accuracy and high thrust damage. But I'm going to stick with using uh, the Eternal Sword for now. I mainly came back to get the spear. Well, that sucks. I didn't expect him to kick me out. I also wanted to talk to the Valkyrie, too. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. I mean, I could just redo the fight. It only took me ten minutes. Which is... kind of short. I was expecting that to take a little bit longer. Oh, well. Well, with that out of the way, we might as well go to the town of Early. And I just looped the world. Classic! Very classic. Gotta love, ro gotta love rotating maps. Okay, here we are. The land of perpetual darkness. There's, the ca there's a cave. I got a feeling that the spirit of darkness is in there. Twin moons conjoined. Looks very suggestive for, to my mind. I wonder why. この辺りは真っ暗ですね。よし。私が光の精霊の力で明るくしてみよう。行くぞ。アスカ。あ、アスカの力であたりが明るくなった。一瞬だけ。まあ、こういうこともあるさ。これって、コイン矢のこと知って
No, you do not. I got a feeling Suzu, because she is the optional party member, her equipment list is actually very fucking small. Oh yeah, I guess I can, uh... Uh, swap back to my normal set of gear. For Chris. Do -do 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 -do. So let's get this uh, warrior symbol back. Um. Well, let's wear the attack symbol. Let's see if uh, that affects criticals at all. If I can even see a difference. Hey, youngin, answer my question, would you? Sure. What do you believe is the most important aspect of armor? Price, quality, appearance, warmth. Um. Hmm. I got a feeling if I answer the wrong thing, I'm not going to get a good reward. Uh. Da, da, da. Um, I'm going to say quality? If you weren't satisfied with something you create, what would you do? So, like normal, sell a discount, scrap it. Vow to try harder next time? What do you have a weapon for? To defeat my opponents, to protect myself, to show off my power, to snazz up my walls. <laughs> Um, one and two are the most likely options. I'm gonna go with two? Hmm, I see. I will have a to say no. See ya. Huh. Good day. Trevor told me he saw the Spirit of Darkness somewhere on this island. Is it true or was he just trying to impress me? No, the Spirit of Darkness is here. My father makes a lot of fancy weapons, but he loathes violence. He seems to prefer thinking of his art. Yeah, his creation is art more than anything else. Ah, this is for a side quest that we can't do right now. I know what's going on. Oh, wow, nice light reflections. Once we get Douse's castle to sh show up again, that means that the rest of the game is actually unlocked for us with all the optional side content that's still in the game. Um, which in that case, I guess we can head to the inn. Ah. God damn it. Where is the inn? Oh, pfft. It helps to look at the thing with the freaking title. Night Dream, huh? Is there anyone else here? No. Hmm. Well, before we turn in, I might as well head to the other building and see what's in there. What's this? Tea House Noonwalker. Excuse me, sir, you look like a swordsman. Are you interested in arcane art books? Did you say arcane art books? I cast everything in my life a sign journey to this forsaken land to train myself into fight. I'm just not cut out for this. I figured I'd try to sell this one so I could afford the return trip and living expenses while I try to find employment. I think 50k should be enough. Sure, I'll help you out. Chris has learned Phoenix Spear! Thank you so much! I really appreciate this. If I have anything else I'm worth to give it to you, now I must prepare my return. World of Fabulous Flavors! Okay, what you teaching me? Hashed rice. What the fuck kind of... What the fuck is hashed rice? Or did it say hashed beef and I just saw something stupid? Beef onion sauce served over rice. Restores a large amount of HP. Oh, this. Why is it called hashed beef then? Whatever. But hey, only one, two, three dishes left, and we have the maxed out cookbook. Welcome to the new Walker Tea House. It doesn't matter if it's day or night, we serve great tea, coffee, and meals. Also known as selling raw food. Thanks for my grocery shopping, you dickbag. Thanks, idiot. Ooh, bunny rabbit. Oh, you won't let me interact with the bunny? Lame. Uh, tool shop midnight. Do you sell anything new, or is it standard fare as always? 
Standard fare as always. Stardust Envoy of the Spirit of Snow is a sublime creature that is both beautiful and ephemeral, living only for a single day. Some of you think of it as a spirit as well, but it really isn't. On the coldest of mornings, you'll catch a phenomenal sight of something floating in the sky that glares like the stars. That's something of stardust. Nice. I refuse the spirit origin is a mere legend. If a man just accepts that something is a legend, then that's it. There's no life to a legend. You could stuff, you could stuff your legends, but we need our dreams. Dreams! A man's gotta have dreams or be, did, be dead. Well, I see someone would get along with uh, Marshall D. Teach. Maybe not his methods, but his general statement. Maybe. Anyway, that's enough fucking around. How much for a night at the inn? 120 bucks, sure. Brr. Stove, stove, come to papa. You okay, man? Press? Huh? What's up? Um, actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Not right here, but at the side of the inn. Would you come out there later? I'll wait. Sure thing. Oh, is this about, uh, you not telling her about uh, her mother being dead? Huh? Where'd Mint go? Uh, I think she said she was gonna for a walk or something. A walk? That's right. She went for a little walk. Seriously, why would she want to do that in this kind of weather? Maybe she just felt like it. What about a nice bath instead? I mean, really? It would make way more sense if she wanted to do something warm. What do you care? If she goes for a walk, it's not going to hurt anything. I'm just saying. Anyway, it's no fun to take a walk by yourself. Uh, instead of worrying about mint, let's get all cozy, alright? This place is mung by Lake Cold. <sighs> I swear my hat's gonna freeze to my head at this rate. Oh boy. Time for emotional confessionary. Something on your mind, Chris? Ah, uh, well, don't mind me. I feel like taking a little walk myself. Oh, and then I'm going with. Actually, um, I want to go alone. Yeah, bye. Just leave the sword here, huh? Weirdo. It's quite miserable to be cold all by oneself. It must be nice to be young. I'll stop grumbling like an old fire. You're not that old. Says the girl who calls me old man. You're not even 30 yet, are you? Well, no, but I'm wise beyond my years. Meanwhile, Archie just goes back to sipping her drink. Hmm, still some time to kill. Oh, what's the bright idea? What's with that goofy look on your face? Oh, nothing, just came up with a little mischief to entertain myself. Yeah, yeah, sure, do this in the end. Hey, Origin, among your powers is the ability to strike across time, correct? That is certainly possible. However, I will not show you the future. That is forbidden. Oh, that's fine. What I wish to see is in the past. Something that's been troubling me for some time. Since this is your first request as my master, I will allow it just this once. I only get one shake of this, huh? Oh, well, fair enough. Just what are you doing? What is the time and place you desire to see? Meanwhile, someone's riding around in a loud fucking bike. Oh, for the... <sighs> what the fuck are you doing now? 
You know, it'd be one thing if you were hauling stones or something, but if you're just riding it around, it's fucking annoying. Oh, I'm sorry, but you could, see, could you two step out of the room? What? Do you want me to freeze to death? Oh, come on. I'm begging you here. I'll treat you to whatever you want later. Just please go now. Ah, uh, what's up with you guys? Did we move to crazy town? Well, considering that Klaus's face was red, I'm imagining something different. Well then. Hmm? Understood. But why do you whisper as though you had reason to be ashamed? Sure you've been on the age to be embarrassed by such things. In any case, let it be done. Oh, this ought to be good. And that concludes today's lesson. We got through the fundamentals today. Thank you, Miss Rune. By the way, when's Mr. Lester coming back? He beat up that Douse guy, right? His return will be so exciting that even the village chief will want to throw a party. I suppose so. Anyway, he's as stubborn as a zombie, so he'll be back sooner or later. <laughs> That's true. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, don't stay up too late tonight. Well, this is sweet. <sighs> that fool just had to go wander off and disappear. Is there anything I can do to help him even just a little? Well, I suppose I'll just have to wait patiently for the day he returns. Well, Klaus, you gotta keep her, that one. So, Archie, what do you want? Did I scare you? I bet you're planning to go spy on Chris. Could you be any more predictable? Shove it! What I'm going to do is none of your business. Oh yeah? Wanna make a bet? Chris is my best friend. Whatever concerns him, concerns me. Uh, why do you... Why do we keep getting into these fights anyway? Because you keep picking them? Oh, come on! You're the one I only ever fight with! Look, I don't care if you hate me, but the... Oh, stupid notification is nothing important. But I want to put an end to this. It's gone on for too long. Who said anything about hating you? Wow, we're just getting confessions left and right here. I, I was kidding! I was kidding about these two relationship. I was kidding! Wait a minute, Archie's gonna take that in the wrong way, isn't she? You thought I... And... Wow, we're just going to go that angle there, Chester? Come on! Hmm. Hey, Chester. Let's go outside, too. Nah, I'm fine. Then I'm just going to have to drag you out. <laughs> Archie is shit at flirting, but she knows what she wants. To, and she will go, try to get it, even if it fails. Sorry, I hope it didn't keep you waiting too long. It's okay. It's just they were making it hard for me to leave sooner. Wow, it's not like you're just meeting in the back alley to fuck each other, are you? aren't you? Mind if I sit next to you? Not at all. And this is when we talk about the, de the dead person in the room. So... What'd you want to talk about? I found this. Do you recognize it? Isn't this the earring that I... An earring? Oh! The unicorn earring that his... that yeah, Mint's mother had. Hold it against the wall. Afterwards, I beg you to save the girl held captive in the cell nearby. To get it, I'm sure you'll be able to escape this place. Yay, flashbacks!
Boom! An earring in the image of a unicorn is quite unique, don't you think? This one proves the identity of a true cleric, and exactly like the one my mother always wore. And now we're gonna have a somber scene. Huh, <sighs> Chris, you probably should have told her this earlier. But hey, at least she's not mad you about it, because Mint is a sweet summer child and is precious. You two are a match made in heaven. Then again, typically, the main character gets with the main female prote female party member, so I'm not surprised. And Kevin Miller's stuff a secret for me, she probably wouldn't be able to actually move forward, so... Silver lining, I guess. But still a dick move to do. Then again, I don't think we had... Oh, wait, we had plenty of time to tell her on this journey. <laughs> plenty of time. Poor Mint. Hey, don't you think we should go back in now? The snow is starting to come down again. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> Suzu, get down from the roof. Mother, father, the decisive battle against Daos is imminent. I am confused right now. Father, must a true ninja always act with the heart of steel? I feel different when I am with Chris and the others. That's called being a normal person. That does that signify weakness in my heart? Mother, do you know these feelings? Yada yada yada. Suze, who's having inner trauma. Which makes sense when you have a 11 year old as an assassin. Or is she 14? Point is, she's still just a child, and she not should not be in the process of killing people. The process, the business of killing people and spying and other such shit. But the world is cruel, and I can't do anything about it. They are unfamiliar to me, Susu. They're your friends. But but even this shows weakness as a ninja during the final battle. I I would like to fight with my heart, fully united with those of Cress and the others. That way, should this body fail, I don't feel no shame. Good on you. Acquired the unicorn earring. As it is meant for clerics, this accessory can only be worn by mint. And Klaus has earned a new title. Cool. Now, the cool thing about this uh, earring, where is it? It basically makes her immune to magic. Or is it physical, based on the wording? Unicorn earring, a mother's memento and a mark of clerics invalidates non-elemental damage. I will take it. So that wording either means that Mint will no longer take elemental damage, or it means that she will no longer take physical damage. Either way, she is a lot more tankier now. Sir Chris? Sir Chris, are you there? Or here? Or are you? I'm one of the investigators from Alvanista. We can't confirm this, but we received word of someone sighting a giant castle from the ruins of the old Northwestern Mine. Really? The claimant said he got about halfway up the mountain and then there was, a, in plain view, a huge castle. And I'll be damned if that's not suspicious. I agree, we need to see this for ourselves. Remember, it's northwest of this town. Good luck, I must return to the rest of the team. Well, might as well go see if he's there. Once we have physical confirmation that Dallas' castle is actually around, then that means that the rest of the game is unlocked. Fantastic! Let's go look. Northwest, huh? So, this cave. I'm informed by the survey team about you. Please go on through. Thanks. Well, this is a nice transition.
Wow, just a straight shot? Well, this looks like the place. But I don't see a castle anywhere. Near do I. But based on the story Lugrum told, we shouldn't be too surprised. He must be hiding his castle within a temporal rift to keep outsiders from seeing it. It probably only reveals itself when the monster you controls need to come and go. Would the Blade of Time be of some help? Oh, indeed! Since it controls time itself, it should be able to stabilize the rift, making Dallas' castle visible. Okay, here goes! Blade of Time! Pull Dallas' castle from the temporal rift! Yeah, sure, just speak random shit, bullshit, and see what, what happens. In this case, it actually works. Who would have thought? Aha! Well, how about that? I was right. Not bad for a mere guess, eh? So, uh, how do you suppose we reach the castle from here? Uh... We walk? Good question. Stormfoot's winds like these will just blow the rayards away, which means... Hey! The blade of time is glowing! Well, that's a nifty way of getting in here. Whoa, what happened? One possibility is that we were called here by the resonation of Dallas's powers of time manipulation of the Sword of Time. Oh, goody goody gumdrops! We made it to the final dungeon, ladies and gentlemen! But now that we're here, can we leave? Yes, we can. All right, now that we've actually physically stepped foot into Dallas's castle, which is the end game dungeon, we now have access to the rest of the side quests for the game. Hooray! Unless there's some new game plus shenanigans that I don't know about, which is probably true, but uh, we're golden. It only took me halfway through the video to get to this point. Fantastic! Which means I can skip Douse's castle section entirely and start doing more side content. Because why not, right? Let's make Douse's boss fight a little bit easier since the last time we fought him, he uh, definitely put up a more of a fight and it sucked. Okay, so, um. Okay, so now we can start going to other optional areas and get more shit. We could head back to the tree and forest and head deeper in now. We could head back to the Moira mine and head deeper in there. We could actually probably go get the Spirit of Darkness now. I didn't get an encounter the entire time, and now I do? Kaka! Birds! Well, let's just kill the birds. Fuck all you! Wait, that works on enemies in midair? What the fuck? That shouldn't work like that. Okay, where do we go first is the question for side content. We got options. We have options. And I am incorrect about this NPC. But what's the uh, most important aspect of armor? Uh, well, since... Her... You know what, fuck it, let's go with the artsy. Appearance. What would you do? So, like, no, so I'm just gonna scrap it. Not satisfied? Scrap it. Snaz up the walls. Okay, nothing. 
Uh, quality. Try harder next time. Hmm. I feel like if I give him the right answers he's looking for, he'll give us something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, let me, uh, see here. Do, 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 do. We can revisit the arena. The only downside is in order to, uh, get everything and face off everything, we have to do the arena multiple times, which sucks. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Cave of Darkness. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so the Cave of Darkness, we can't actually go forward unless we complete uh, three other side quests. Or is it two other side quests? Well, technically a side quest is different, but the point is we can't actually progress further... Further? M deep... Much... Breathe, you fucking idiot. I can't progress very deep into the Cave of Darkness with what we currently have, so that's a bust. I'm mainly just scrolling to see if... Um, da, 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 da. Apparently, it says nothing about this about this guy. All right then. Well, that's a bust. Okay, you. Up, up, and away! I said, up, up, and away! Yeah, too bad we can't see Dallas's castle for, on the world map. We actually have to go into the thing. Okay, so... Let's see. World map. Ooh, excuse me. do 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 See, we can head back to Breezekill and start a side quest where we basically have to go around the world map. I could uh, go back to Euclid and do the arena. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go visit this peddler since it's on the fucking world map and I'm curious what it is. Oh, wait, it's here. Wait, then why the fuck is it on the world map? Whatever. Questions aside. I am trying to think of where to go first. 
<sighs> Cause I re Fine. I guess by better judgment, I'll just go by what the fucking how this is fucking written down. So I guess we go first back into the tree and forest again. But this time we get to go deeper for new stuff. So that's something. Or I can start the treasure treasure hunting first. Oh fuck, I'll just fucking roll a dice. Being indecisive sucks when it comes to this crap. Okay, you know what? Odds, we uh, head back to Tree and Forest and go deeper in to see what we can find. Hopefully more treasure. That's actually stronger than what we have. Evens, we start a treasure hunt. Whoa, don't want it rolling off, off the desk. And that's a 13. Okay, so deeper into the forest we go. Son of a... I can't escape that forest to save my fucking life now, can I? Ugh. This is bullshit. Well, that's good. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Lots of fun. I'll be right back, though. Oh, sorry about that. I got distracted. I thought I heard something. Turns out I didn't. I did some research on what we're, on what we're going to do. It's like, oh, hey, this this guy gives us a link to some map to I, that I can use to progress through the tree and forest area. Nope, the link does not work. Great. So that means I have to go this by text. And that means I am going to call the episode here, that way we have the full hour to get lost in the forest. Uh, and as you can see, I only spent like... Uh, like 16, 15, a few minutes grinding anyway, doesn't matter. Up for those damn herbs. Regardless, though, ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. In the next episode, we head on back into the tree and forest, talk to the elves, head on back to the origin slate, and progress deeper into the forest. But until then, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time. Go ahead.